गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वी विल नाउ स्टार्ट रिश्यू एंड प्रोपोर्शन फर्स्टली वी विल सी वॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ड रेशियो इज देयर सपोज माई एज इज फोर्टी ईयर्स एंड एज ऑफ वन ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट इज फिफ्टीन ईयर वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ आर एज इज दैट विल बी फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टीन it is coming out to be 8 divided by 3 8 is to 3 that doesn't mean that my age is 8 years and the age of my student is 3 year it is the simplest ratio among the two things what we say that my age is not 8 my age is 8x and the age of my student is 3x so wherever we are just dealing with the term ratio that is not the actual thing that is the simplest ratio among the things so you make a habit taking in the terms of x so wherever ratio is given that is given a is to b is 5 is to 3 what does this means a is equal to 5x b is equal to 3x you just start from this basic and your problems will be solved out automatically not a problem at all see how i am attempting the question see here two numbers are in ratio 3 is to 5 so the numbers will be 3x and 5x is it as i said wherever ratio is given you just proceed in that way your things will be easier Now, if eight is added to each number, the ratio becomes two is to three. One thing I told you every time: if your understanding of the problem is okay, your hundred percent of the problem is solved out. You just translate the given thing, English thing, into mathematical things. Once the translation is okay, you are done. See. Eight is added to each number. That is three x plus eight, five x plus eight. Why I am dividing? Because the ratio of the new things is given as two is to three. We can get the value of x very easily. It is coming out to be ten x plus sixteen is equal to nine x plus twenty four. So x is coming out to be ten x minus nine x is x. is coming out to be 8 so we can say that the numbers are 3 is to 5 that means 3 into 8 that is 24 and this is 5 into 8 that is coming out to be 40 so the numbers are actually 24 and 40 just we proceeded by simple translation of the given thing and we got the answer Now go for the second question. A bag contains rupees one forty two in the form of one rupee coin, fifty paisa coin, and twenty paisa coin. Two in the ratio three to one. What does this mean? That their numbers are one rupee coin, three x, fifty paisa coin is five x, and twenty paisa coin is eight x. Okay, just. simple translation now the key thing is given that total value of all the coins is rupees 142 in rupees that means if it is in paisa we have to convert it in rupees so total value is coming out to be 3x into 1 plus 50 paisa means 50 by 100 Rupees into how many coins? Five x coins. So I have taken this amount in rupees, this amount in rupees, and the twenty paisa amount also in rupees. Why? Because the total rupee is given. That is why I converted everything in the terms of rupees. So it is coming out to be one hundred forty-two. you just solve it get the value of x and you can easily tell the number of coins of each type very easily if you solve this it is coming out to be 2 here this is 5 here lcm is coming out to be 10 
सो वट इज हियर थर्टी एक्स प्लस दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स प्लस दिस इज सिक्सटीन एक्स इज इट इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी टू you just add it up get the value of x once you got the value of x you can get the number of coins of each type very easily hope this thing is clear to you now we will see the composition of ratio how to convert the ratios in another terms suppose a ratio is a by b that is a is to b we have to find the duplicate ratio of that do you know the meaning of duplicate duplicate means square so the duplicate ratio will be a square by b square <coughs> suppose the ratio is 3 is to 5 we need to find the duplicate of that what is that that will be 9 by 25 triplicate of a ratio a by b if i have i have done here duplicate if we just go for finding triplicate ratio triplicate it is going to be a cube by b cube now the term sub duplicate the sub duplicate if a ratio is 9 is to 25 we need to find the sub duplicate of that that is under root 9 by under root 25 so sub duplicate of a by b is root under a by root under b this is sub duplicate do you know the sub triplicate sub triplicate will be a to the power 1 by 3 that is cube root of that b to the power 1 by 3 that is sub triplicate duplicate square sub duplicate square root triplicate cube sub triplicate cube root and another thing is compounded ratio compounded ratios means two ratios are there and we need to find the compounded ratio of these ratios suppose two ratios are a by b c by d so their compounded ratio will be ac by bd numerators multiplied together denominator multiplied together if two ratios are like this 2 by 3 And four by seven. What is their compounded ratio? Can you tell me? It is two into four by three into seven. That is eight by twenty-one. That is the compounded ratio of the two things. Whatever problems are asked in subduplicate, triplicate, uh, compounded ratio problems, you just translate the thing. and get the value of the variable who thing is that see here in this problem 2x plus 3 by 3x plus 7 is sub duplicate of 9 by 25 if we just translate that thing the problem is done what is meaning of this 2x plus 3 by 3x plus 7 is means equal to sub duplicate of that sub duplicate of 9 By twenty-five, so root under nine by root under twenty-five, which is going to give you three is to five. Now you can get the value of x very easily. It is coming out to be ten x plus fifteen is equal to nine x plus twenty-one. Is it? So x is coming out to be six. So just translate whatever given. This is sub triplicate of that. This is duplicate of that. That is compound rate of this and that. Just translation is done. You will get the value of the variable easily. Hope you are understanding the very basic of the ratio. Thank you.